So what happened to me was I used Google Docs since I was a teenager basically to write everything. And then when I was finishing my second novel, I needed a software that wasn't, firstly, that wasn't all white and that I could change to dark mode. And that also would track my daily writing because I really needed to set those goals to finish the novel because on my own, I wasn't um, going to be able to do that. And so, yeah, so I found Obsidian and I'm going to share it with you um, the best plugins to use and just quick tips on how to use it to improve your writing and to reach those goals. As you can see here, Obsidian is a powerful note-taking app and it uses a markdown editor which is basically a line of code and docs use a different one so you don't really need to worry with that until you actually have to import or export your work in progress here but it works like a digital notebook and you can customize it um, for whatever purpose you have and you can find a lot of videos here on YouTube that will teach you to use Obsidian to um, achieve anything really I'm just going to focus on apps and plugins that you can add here and yeah so this is going to be a very quick video because I only have a few that I actually use but they helped me a lot to get my book done so a quick um, pause on the video because I realized that I was sharing my screen with a big zoom and so you, you aren't really able to see the whole screen and so I'm just going to actually show the whole screen and something that I might be pointing at. But basically, you'll download Obsidian on the official website. It's not really not that deep. And then you can see the setup here. And you can access the community plugins through here. When I tell you about the reading time and the word count, I'm referring to this part right here. And so, yeah, and when I'm referring to the writing goal, it's this what I mean, okay? So what you basically have to do is just click here and then you'll see that you have a lot of options and you go to community plugins, you go to um, browse and you going, you're going to search for writing goals. And yeah, so this is it. You're going to set goals for different documents and projects that you have and it's going to show in a visual graph and that helped me a lot on um, when I needed to get that book done and so you can add daily goals and you can have a project goal and okay so let, let me just show you how it works so I'll basically go to a project and click with my right click on the mouse and then you go to writing goal you can add a sprint goal for the day for example and then you basically um, open this little window and you go here. So this is the um, words that I want to the project to be in total. And this is the daily writing goal that I have. And as I write, it will update there. And then, yeah, so yeah, there you go, <laughs> one word. And so, yeah, so this is just very practical. Another plugin that is very useful for me is Prozen because I tend to procrastinate a lot and get distracted on my computer. Yes, it, it opens Obsidian as a full screen and it actually doesn't give um, space for anything else for you to distract and it's awesome. So let me just also show you that. So you go here and I think this is my, so my whole screen is now um, the Obsidian. You just click ask to get out of there and yeah so that also helped me a lot to focus <laughs> another community plugin that is very helpful is better word count so obsidian already has a a core plugin that is a word counter but the better word count will help you because it will count the words here but it will also count when you select text and that is very useful because when you want to check how many um words or characters you reached there and you, you probably need it, so it's best to add it. Reading time is another very useful one because it will add right here, as you can see in the corner of my screen, it will add the reading time that it takes to read your book project or... And so I just think that's very useful because we, never, we really tend to underestimate or overestimate the reading time for the thing that we want to review. And yeah, so that's just very helpful. 
the last plugin that I'm going to talk about it's smart typography and so it's it's in the title guys so it'll basically convert things like quotes to curly quotes you know and it's just uh, for me personally um, I use it a lot because when you write a project in English you use curly quotes instead of dashes and yeah but otherwise I don't think I would use it as much so that's just my experience so that is all for today this is just a quick video that I went to do there are a lot of other plugins that you can use um, core and community and so if you go to reddit you actually find a lot of people that want to find new plugins to help them use obsidian better and and let me know what software do you use to write what you're currently writing some struggles that you may be having and yeah so i wish you all the best of writing today and yeah thank you